Hi everyone. If you live in the United States, you know that spring is here, which means warmer weather and backyard barbecues. I want to share a quick tip with you about a great spring beverage, rosé wine made from the Grenache grape. The Grenache grape is a deep red, specifically what is known in the wine world as a black grape. The French actually call it Grenache Noir, Noir being the French word for black. This grape originates in Spain, where it's called Garnacha, but these days it's grown all over the world, especially anywhere where it's hot and dry. This baby is a late bloomer and it needs as much hot weather as possible to ripen fully. As you know, a lot of the color, tannins and flavor in a red wine come from the skins, and Grenache is particularly thin-skinned. That means that wines made from the Grenache grape are usually a little pale and light in flavor, which makes them a perfect candidate for light, refreshing, fruity rosés. This is also why most Grenaches are mixed with other grapes to kind of beef them up a little bit. When I was doing my WSET tasting exams, you could always detect a Grenache wine because it was all simple red fruit, candied cherries, strawberries, and raspberries. Some of the examples from France exhibit a pretty herbal quality like rose petals and lavender. But for the most part, Grenache Rosé is going to be a fistful of fresh strawberries. Easy, simple, fun stuff. This wine is perfect with fruit dishes, salad, grilled meats, potato salads, and of course, olives. Three main places where Grenache thrives are Northern Spain, Southern France, and Australia. In Spain, look for rosés from the regions of Navarra and Rioja, Priorat, Calatoyud, and in this case, Monsant. In France, anywhere in the southern Rhone Valley, especially Lyroc and Tavel, which is where this one is from, and almost the entire southern coast of France, known as the Languedoc region, and of course Provence, they all make great rosés from Grenache. In Australia, you're most likely to find dark reds made from a blend of Grenache, Syrah, and Morvedre. They call this GSM for short. If you do happen to find an Australian rosé made from Grenache, grab it and let me know how it was because I've yet to find one. So there it is, my quick tip for you to start your spring festivities. Chill your Grenache well, about 45 degrees Fahrenheit, and have a great time enjoying your new spring pleasure.